They come down the side with 600 left to go. It's it's got them bottled up in behind him as they come towards the home corner by a length on Just Act Natural. Noski, he didn't want to get pocketed, so he came out earlier than expected here. Three deep on Battle Hero, just letting him idle up there now as they'd cornered. Mickey Two Toes down on the rail and further back, flying time at the 250. It's it, taken on by Just Act Natural. Battle Hero can't sprint with them. It'll be between It's It and Just Act Natural and Mickey Two Toes, two lengths behind them. It's it finding but just act natural again having another dip at him it's it he's a bulldog he fights back regains the lead and it's it it's it gets the money in the idyllic prince great ride by tan to beat just act natural down the outside flying time late from mickey two toes battle hero really didn't have any dash in his legs at all he pulled up quickly in the run past the post with dark alert and a long last pretentious chant number five it's it has fought back just act natural there, laying down the gauntlet to it, but Tan had ridden a very heady race on It's It. He'd coasted along, he got away with some cheap sectionals there, particularly mid-race, and that made it tough for Just Act Natural up there to the 1300 to get past him, and it was It's It who really responded well, and with the bob of the heads going his way, gets the money from Just Act Natural, flying time, Late on the scene, third from Mickey Two Toes. Dark Alert Battle Hero was bitterly disappointing today. Noski had him there in that lovely trail right behind the pace. He'd pulled out three deep, didn't want to get clustered away. Had him cruising up there, and as soon as the sprint went on, Battle Hero came off the bit, and he was really, really flat. It's it. Too good for them here, though. Winner of the bow fine. He now adds the idyllic prince to his CV by knowledge from Tiffany Island for Iron... L and MJ Roberts, trained by Sharon Miller and ridden by Randy Tan and Just Act Naturals, a natural blitz horn skilling for Paul Roberts, A. Basto, Ms. C. Richardson, Ms. L. Anderson, A. Harrod, S. Reed and T. Reeve, C. Barber, trained by Paul Roberts and ridden by Glenn Smith and flying time third home by Heritage from Belgrave Square, raced by Ron Sayers, T. Smithson, Charles and Mrs. E. Fear and trained by Lindsay Smith, Daniel Stake in the saddle. 5642. Uh, the numbers in 117.79 after the running of race number five. The idyllic prince taken out by It's It. That's his second listed victory now from 34 starts. He's now won nine. He'll pay six even and 2.30. Just act natural 160. Flying time 5.30. And ahead was the margin. Three quarters, second and third. Next event of the day, the running of the Salinger handicap over 1,200 metres. And uh, there are no changes to the next on the card. As we take you back now into the winner's enclosure after the fighting victory of It's It, who led from uh, start pretty much to the finish. OK, uh, Sharon Miller joins me now. Uh, Sharon... That was a terrific fighting performance by It's It. There was some quality opposition chasing you down, but held on grimly. Yeah, he's got a great um, turn of foot, and he um, just rolls along in the front. No one really took him on. He got his own way. He backed off after a couple of hundred, which made him, you know, he could finish the race off nice. Okay, I guess he knew he was going to lead. The question was, could he hang on? Were you confident during the week in the lead-up to the race? Never confident with him. <laughs> he um, only does as much as he has to. Um, he's not a good track worker or anything. You can't get excited with him at home. So you just come here and hope. And what about Duke Azza coming up in the next? Uh, you have to drop back 100 metres, 14 to 13. Is that against the horse? A little bit it is. We've kept him really fresh. Um, it's a little bit got a few problems. So we're just trying to keep him fresh and get him to finish off. So he should be better for the run. Terrific. Well done, Sharon. Great training performance. Thank you. Sharon Miller, the uh, winning trainer with... It's it, and uh, Randy Tan uh, joins me now. Randy, you uh, got a reasonably comfortable lead. You look to be going reasonably quickly early, and then there seemed to be a mid-race breather where you're able to slow the pace a little bit. Yeah, well, um, with, with that race, there's not much pace. I had a comfortable 200 underneath me and then get to safe every ground and make the end of it. Okay, well, Just Act Natural was coming at you. You, you felt you were going to hang on? Uh, I was a little bit worried there, but, yeah, I did hang on, so it was good. Now, you've got another front runner, Zenite. You've had success on very fast horse. Can, can you lead all the way on Zenite? Yeah, I probably will be leading on it. Um, but I don't, I don't know if it's going to hang on as good as that, though. Well, good luck, Randy. Well done. All right, thank you. Randy Tan riding in really good form. Another winner out in front. And uh, he can come from behind as well, Randy. He's, uh, 
He's got all the strings in the bow and very shortly we'll have a presentation after the running of the idyllic prints.